Hey everybody, Ben here. So today is a cooking episode. Today we are making chicken pot pie, a Martin family recipe, not a Morrow family recipe. So this is from the Martin family, not the Morrow family. So we have our basic ingredients here. We got the pie crust rolled out or smoothed out amongst the pan. We got a can of vegetable. Usually we'll use one big thing of cream of chicken, but today we got cream of mushroom. We got some more mushrooms and we got some crust that goes on top. And don't forget, we got the chicken. We're gonna start peeling that right now. And let's get to work. Okay, we're gonna start peeling the chicken now. So whenever you peel the chicken, we have a bowl. This goes, the chicken goes in this bowl and you peel off the skin and the bone and just the bare flesh of the chicken and put it in the bowl. Now this chicken is fresh out of the boiling hot pot. So this chicken is very hot to touch. So whenever I boil chicken, I turn on the water uh, so that it will cool it when I'm, I, I peel it under the water so it's cool. Because if I don't, this chicken is very hot to touch. everybody so the main thing we have here is the chicken of course big thing of chicken and then the second thing we have is the big thing of vegetables and so whenever you buy one of these um, I already did it but you have to be sure to drain all the water out of them because there's a lot of liquid in it so the next thing you do you pour in the vegetables into the bowl and then as I said earlier Usually we get a uh, cream, it's backwards. But usually we get cream of chicken, a big thing of cream of chicken, but this is cream of mushroom. Um, yeah, so, but it still works. We've made cream, we've made cream of mushroom uh, pot pie many times before, but it still works, still very good. So we put that in next. I'll put it in closer for y'all to see. So that's off of this bottle or jar or can can that's off of that can and then the next one and so that's all for that um, this is nothing, just fell in. It's fine, it's all intact. So next thing we do after this is we gotta cut up the mushrooms now. Cause pot pie is really good with mushrooms in it. It's not too hard, pretty simple.
So, um, rather than just me just cutting mushrooms, I think I might as well tell y'all a little bit about me cooking chicken pot pies. So, my mom has been making chicken pot pies, um, literally my whole life. Or, well, the recipe comes from my dad. Um, the recipe comes, yeah, it comes from my dad's family. And my dad taught my mom how to do it. And once my mom learned how to do it, she was the one who really did it. And, uh, she's making chicken pot pies my whole life. Um, ever since her and my dad have been together, she's been making pot pies. And, um, I think I made my first pot pie by myself, like what I'm doing right now, when I was about 12 years old. Yeah, when I was 12 years old, I made my first pot pie all by myself. I've always been pretty independent, um, relatively throughout my life. Um, ever since I was probably maybe like five, six years old, I was able to make my own drink. I was able to get my own cup make my own glass of milk or Kool-Aid or tea or whatever. Um, I wasn't really baby that much. Um, so I've always been relatively independent compared to other kids in the family. So I've always been good at this. So we got everything in here now. And so now it's time to mix. I'm gonna get a spoon. We're gonna start mixing this up together. Gotta be careful with this so it doesn't splatter everywhere. Like that. <laughs> Just gotta be careful like, with that. It doesn't look that great right now, I know, but uh, once it's in the pie and it's cooked, it's wonderful. So you just gotta give it some time. I mean, a lot of food doesn't look good when it's being prepared. Once it's done, it looks amazing. Tastes amazing too, but this is no different. So just gotta give it some time. Wait till it's done. So as I was saying just a minute ago, um, being independent. So when I was growing up, uh, when I was a little, little, when I was like little, I'm talking about like a toddler. Yeah, uh, my mom stayed home, but when I started to get older, I would stay home with my older brother, Dustin, you know, He's married to Jill, his two kids are Carly and Coda. I would stay home with Dustin, and uh, as a five, six-year-old, I kind of took it on myself to kind of be a little bit independent. I learned how to make my own drinks, as I said, some simple foods, nothing complex, but I've always had a little bit of it, I've always had quite a bit of an independent streak, probably since I was probably maybe five years old. So I've always been good at doing things by myself. Do, um, which is one of the reasons why I'm sure some of you know I solo travel quite a bit. Uh, back in April, I went to the Northeast, DC, Philadelphia, New York, and um, oh. and then in August I went to Louisiana by myself. And now, this coming May, I am going to France by myself. Solo travel is pretty great. I, it might seem scary at first, but if you genuinely don't think you can handle it, I'd say don't do it. If you are one of those people that just needs other people with you when you do stuff like that, then just don't do it. But if you think you can, I'd say go ahead and do it. It's it's genuinely it's a genuinely fun activity. Um, you get to learn a lot about yourself, um, your capabilities. You also don't have to worry about other people. You know, whenever you, if you want to go out and do stuff, you don't have to worry about uh, other people saying, well, I don't want to do that, or I'm tired, I want to go back to the hotel room, or I'm hungry, I want to go eat, or, you know, if you go eat, it's like, oh, I want to go to this restaurant, I want to go to that restaurant, I want to go to this restaurant, I want to go to that restaurant. You don't have to worry about that when you solo travel. It's just you, yourself, well, you, yourself, and yourself. <laughs> um, I was gonna say me, myself, and I, but I'm talking third person. But uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about other people. But as I said, if you genuinely do not think that you can handle solo traveling, I'd say don't do it. Because if, if you're not fully capable of your own abilities like I am, don't do it. All right, I think that's good enough. Let's get the pie pressed out. 
out of the oven. We have the bottom pie crust in the oven still uh, browning so that it may be hard because you have to cook the bottom pie crust first before you can add the main mixture or else it won't do well. Or else the bottom pie crust will be soft and gushy and it won't be that good. Uh, here we go. I'll let y'all see what I'm talking about. Look at this. Look at this. This is beautiful. So when you make the pie crust, it needs to be like this because whenever you put the this in and you put it in raw, it's just gonna be a big gushy mess. It's not gonna be good. When you put the stuff in with on it like this, it's gonna turn out very good. Oh, there's Bella. Hi, Bellbells. So next step, we put the rest of it on. All right, so we got uh, the filling in, and now it's time for the second crust. This comes on top. Bella's begging for food. There's nothing up here she'll like. I'm sure you've had dogs beg for food when you've had nothing good up there. Like one time I was boiling a pot of water and Bella was begging for it. That's not good. It happens sometimes. It's never really perfect. You're gonna have a little piece of your crust fall off. So pull your crust out. Try to get it tucked in very good. You need to make sure it's tucked in so that nothing will come out. That was fine, but it's not that bad. Always make sure it's tucked in on the edges so that nothing will come out. All right, and then final thing we do before putting in the oven, we make a couple holes so that it um, has some, so the heat can get in a little bit. All right, there we go, just perfect. And now the next thing we, the, one more thing we do before we put it in the oven, finally. So the pie will drip and make a mess on the bottom of the oven. So you need a pan like this to put the 
Pi on. I forgot my towel. All right. There we go. So just like this, you put the pie on top of a pan so the pie doesn't leak out and doesn't fall to the bottom of the oven and burn. And it won't cause a fire, but it'll smoke. And even that's not good. All right, so that's all for the cooking part. Um, well, <laughs> there y'all are. Uh, so I'm gonna put it in the oven now and when it comes out, I'll update y'all and we'll see how it goes. Thank you. All right, the pie is done and everyone's home, including Elijah. Elijah! Home from A&M. Yes. And I want you to see the pie. Mmm, delicious. Wow. Already cut a thing out of it. It's a little, it's a little, um... It's perfect. It's a little charred, but, uh... It's perfect. It still tastes pretty great. It's perfect. So, everyone thinks it's good? Yes. yes. Perfect. It, it, looks it looks good. good. It looks right. delicious. It looks delicious. Okay. Can we eat now? Yes, you can All eat. All right. <laughs> All right. This is Cooking with Ben. See you next time. Thank you. <laughs>